The decision follows persistent reports about increased corruption, including extortion by migration and other officials at the airport. Some of these reports indicate that some travelers miss their flights, while others were forced to part with money to be allowed to proceed with the journeys. If you noticed some of the complaints that have come in from the public or from the social media, is that after they've gone through the process and they're about to board, they're offloaded. The Civil Aviation Authority says it's now looking into the authenticity of the reports. Among the video clips that went in the last two days, together with the security agencies, together with the other stakeholders, we have tried to verify authenticity of some of this. And one of them that came out this morning, the person in that clip is not in Uganda. We realize, and we're not saying that we are angels, yes, immigration, like all the other departments that we work here, we are sometimes at fault. Many times we, we find ourselves also at fault, although you will also agree that there have been improvement, a lot of improvement in our areas of operation. The Civil Aviation Authority says they are now holding one official in police custody as investigations continue. We've been able to see, and I can announce that one of them has been arrested this morning, today, this morning, because he was, uh, he was easily identified as a staff who was involved in the fraud. So that one has been arrested. What that means is that if the public can share information with us, with evidence, with the, in, time, in a timely manner, we have the opportunity to stop this kind of situation from continuing. Going forward, all migration and other staff are banned from using mobile phones while on duty in the airport, and all staff will have name tags on the uniforms for easy public identification. So we have agreed that it will be only at the level of supervisors who may be using their phones, but once somebody is at their workplace, uh, mobile phones will not be entertained. The other issue raised is uh, the issue of name tags, so that one is able to be identified properly. If you look at all our immigration officers, the majority of them will have their name tags uh, on their uniforms. It is not the first time that corruption tendencies have been reported at Entebbe International Airport, but the question of who, how and where specifically this is done remains a subject of investigation. Kamana Ivan Wolnyolo, NTV, in Entebbe.